everyone, Dr. Amna Hussain, board certified pediatrician, board certified lactation consultant, and mom. Today we're gonna be talking about cradle cap, something we commonly see as pediatricians and definitely as parents. Okay, so first off, let's talk about what cradle cap actually is. It's termed medically as seborrheic dermatitis because it usually occurs where there's the greatest amount of oil producing or sebaceous glands in the body. So you can see it on the scalp, you can actually see it in other places of the body. Sometimes we see it on the neck, the underarms, on the trunk. When it's just on the head, you'll see it called cradle cap. It can lead to something like scaling, crusting, you can sometimes see red patches. Rest assured, unlike eczema or contact dermatitis, this is very, very rarely uncomfortable or itchy for the child. It's actually more bothersome to us as parents because again of the cosmetic reasons it looks you know weird to see these greasy scales on your child's scalp. So what can you do? Well, it's actually thought to be an inflammatory reaction to yeast that lives on the skin. So we treat it as such. You can use something like mineral oil to release some of those flakes. Sometimes if that doesn't help or it's really severe cradle cap, I've even used antifungal shampoos. These are prescription strength shampoos and they're not used very frequently, but these can actually help treat and resolve the cradle cap or the seborrheic dermatitis if it's all over the body very quickly. Sometimes if the area is inflamed, we might actually use a steroid cream as well. And I know a lot of parents worry about this, especially when they see it on their child. They don't want to necessarily move into the world of prescription medications yet. And I think it's okay depending on how severe it is if you don't want to necessarily use a prescription medication. Again, we can always try things like mineral oil. We can even do nothing at all and see kind of what happens. Sometimes the seborrheic dermatitis resolves on its own. Again, it's just an inflammatory reaction to normal yeast that lives on the skin. Rest assured that again, this is not contagious. It's not an infection and it's not necessarily an allergy to something that you're using. It can get confusing, I understand, especially if sometimes the rash can morph into something else. That's why it's very important to stay in contact with your pediatrician so that we can keep a close eye on it. But seborrheic dermatitis on its own or even just cradle cap doesn't lead to scars or issues with the hair later on in baby's life. Okay, I hope that helps. If you do have questions on cradle cap, make sure you list them below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see. Tune in next time for more pediatric evidence-based guidance. Bye.